What's your name? David? Oh, that's a mighty name. Okay, my name is Ilhani. Hey, so you said, give me a Genesis 49 and 8. So you said at the top, right? Yes, sir. You come from the tribe of Judah. That's according to the Bible, right? So you see this right here? You see that right there? That happened to our people, right? So you know that's prophesied in the Bible. Give me Genesis 49, start at verse 1. Because Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Israel had 12 sons, right? Yo. This is what he told them in the beginning about the last days. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 1. Come on. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. So these are the last days. We're in the last days, right? That's why you see us out here on the streets teaching today. Because God has always given his people warning before destruction. Right? Go to verse 8. Verse 8. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Why? Because our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ comes from the tribe of Judah. Read. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Here in the Americas, we are literally here in the neck of our enemies. We are the tribe that is located in the most powerful nation on the face of the earth. We're in their police forces. We're in their school systems. You understand what I'm saying? Anything that concerns America, we have our hand in it. Right? Read. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Come on. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Read. Judah is a lion's whelp. The Bible says Judah is a lion's whelp. Right? Why do you think when we grow our afros and our beards, they say we look like lions? They tell you we were fierce and we were bold like lions at one point of time, right? During the what? The turbulent 60s. When we were about self-consciousness. When we were about uniting with one another. When we was about knowing that our natural beauty was perfect because God made us in his image. We knew that. Read. From the break, my son. Hey, brother, I want you to hear this real quick. You're an Israelite, point to the Bible. Read. From the break, my son, uh -huh. thou art gone up. He stooped down. He couched as a lion. So it said from the prey, meaning we were so fierce, it looked like a lion going hunting in the plains of Africa. Why? Because we was literally standing up, going to war to overthrow this system. You understand what I'm saying? But what happened? What happened? What happened to the revolution? It messed us up. Let's read it. And as an old lion, we became an old lion. That's what the Bible say. Because after the 60s, after they assassinated our leaders, right, then came the pimp movies in the 70s. And when you got to, then what was, Heron was big in the 70s, right? Then when you got to the 80s, what came? Crack. Who brought crack here to America? But wasn't they locking us up for the same drug they brought in the country, which destroyed our communities, which destroyed our men? Was destroyed our women, our children. Bring it out. Right? Read. Who shall rouse them up? Now God is saying, who's going to rise the Jews up? The real Jews, according to the Bible. Who's going to rouse them up to come back as the Israelites and let to, to remember the war was never over. We got put to sleep due Bring to the out. drugs. When you got to the 90s, what happened? We got more relaxed. It was all about economics, brother. We got soft. You get what I'm saying? And our leaders got paid off. Now you get to the 2000s and our children are degenerates running out here. Anything concerning the knowledge and wisdom, they don't want to hear. It's a complete disconnection between us and them. Why is that? Huh? Because what the Bible says, we got put to sleep and became an old lion. Give me that in Isaiah 51. Give me verse 20. There's a reason why we're out here in the streets today. Hey, brother, you right there with that hat. Man, what's your nationality according to the Bible? I know all about it. You said what? He know all about it. He know all about it? Well, you should be over here fighting the fight. That's a perfect example. Uh, hey, That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. Bring it out. He know, but he not putting the works to build and help his nation. He concerned about doing his own thing because the, the white man has taught us to be what? Concerned about ourselves and separate. Read. Isaiah. Chapter 51, verse 20. Come on. Thy sons have faith. Thy what? Thy sons have faith. You black Hispanics and natives. It says we have fainted, meaning the sons of God are asleep. They're not awake. They're walking around unconscious to their nationality. They're walking around unconscious to their Messiah. When the Bible describes that he looks like me and you, it says we are asleep. Read. They lie at the head of all the streets. Where they at? 
at the head of all the streets. Where we at today? At the heads of all the streets. That's how you know the difference between the people, the, the shepherds who were sent by God versus the ones in these houses collecting money and they changed the damn thing in the community. Yo, as a wild bull uh -huh. in a net. It says we're like wild bulls. Why do you think the murder rate in Seattle has gone sky high? Because we like wild bulls in a net. We're full of the fury of the curses of God because we're disobedient. And these pastors have failed us. They don't teach us who we are according to the Bible to give these brothers and sisters some type of self-esteem. To, to unite them under the banner of being an Israelite by blood and not by being a crit or a hoover or a gangster disciple trying to attach themselves to something so they can feel as if they belong or they're protected by something. Because they come from what? Dysfunctional households. Read. They are full of fear of the fury of the Lord, uh -huh. the rebuke of thy God. Read. Therefore, hear now this. Uh -huh. Thou afflicted and drunken. God said, Hear this afflicted. We are the people who are afflicted. Read. And drunken, uh -huh. but not with wine. It says, We drunk, but not with wine. Read. Thus saith thy Lord, the Lord and thy God uh -huh. that pleaded the cause of his... So, sister, I want you to hear what I'm saying, right? I'm showing the brother, the sons of God, it says, have fainted, meaning they are not wake, they are not woke to who they are. We walk around these streets, this used to be a black neighborhood, but the only time we come back to the neighborhood when it's time to terrorize something, when it's time to rob something, when it's time to sell drugs, then they want to make music videos, holding their guns, but the white man had kicked them out the neighborhood. That shows you we have no power. So what is our nation what is your nationality according to the Bible? Where would you come from? Give me Deuteronomy 2868. Would you be a so-called American black? According to the Bible. Well, according to society, they call us American blacks or African Americans. So you come from the tribe of Judah. So the prophecy on how we know that we come from Judah is due to the transatlantic slave trade. That's recorded in the Bible. Let's read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. It says Egypt. Egypt means bondage or slavery. Did we not come here to the Americas on slave ships? Is this not a fact? Did this not happen to us? That happens. This is historical history. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Have you seen our homeland? Have you seen it? You haven't seen it. We, none of us have. The Bible says we will be born generation after generation in the lands we were carried slaves. Read. And then ye shall be sold unto your enemies. When we got off those slave ships, didn't that happen? We were sold to our enemies, right? Think about it. Our enemies are still killing us today. Remember where the police force came from, yeah. right? They were slave catchers originally That's right. by Bring the Irish. Check, check. That's why many police officers yeah. today in the force have Irish last names because that a damn thing changed. We the ones who think things have changed. No, it's not. Look at this community. They gave the projects to who? The real Africans. They booted us out the projects and gave it to them. But we're the ones who built this country. We're the reason why they can even come to this country. The civil rights gave them that permission to come to this country. But who had to die and get beat and get bit up by dogs for it? Who had to walk the walk and lay down the foundation for it? We did. The Bible says that's a curse. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Read. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. And no man shall buy you. And nobody will be able to redeem us out of the conditions we are in today. That's why our children are out of control, sis. That's why they're running the streets crazy, doing drugs, shooting at each other, left and right. Because we're full of the rebuke of God. So how do we fix this? Right? Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse uh, 16. Right? Let's get that. Because the Bible says that the Israelites are cursed in the city. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. Come on. Cursed shall thou be in the city. It said, cursed shall we be in the city. When you go through the city, who lives in the worst part of the cities all throughout America? Who lives in the slums all across the world? We do. 
Cursed shall you be in the city. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall we be in the field, whether it was during the times of slavery, when we had to pick the cotton, or in today's business fields. Who are the most undereducated people? We are. Who are the people who they won't give the males any status or position of leadership and power? We are. Who are the ones who take advantage of our sisters to put them in power as a weaponary to use against the man to continue to cause division? We are the people who are subject to that. Read. Curse shall be thy basket uh -huh. and thy store. Give me verse 30. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 30. Read. Thou shalt be trod a wife. It says, we shall marry a wife. Read. And another man shall lie with her. Didn't that happen in slavery? Didn't that happen? Bring it out. Right. But these were the same men that taught us religion. You identify as Christian? But you was raised that way, wasn't you? Likewise with you. Likewise with me. And all of us that you see out here. And where does the root of these religions come from? It come from what? So our grandparents and grandmas and big mamas and grandpas learn what? A slave doctrine. They learn lies. That's why they can sit at home, call us nappy-headed kids, and then when you get of age, they tell you don't bring no nappy-headed kids up in here. Right? They tell you that. Don't do that. Why? Because they got the white man Jesus in their mind. These are the men who created these false religions that we are scattered in today that continues to further our division. These were slave owners. These were rapists. These were your pedophiles. These were your human traffickers trying to teach you about God. What sense does that make? Read. Thou shalt build a house, uh -huh. and thou shalt not dwell therein. We built these houses, and we don't reap none of the benefits from what we done built. What happened to the Asians? They start showing them getting beat up a couple times on the news channel, then the Asian hate bill came out. Right? Where's the bill for us? Lamentations 4. Where's the bill for us? Huh? How long have we been getting beat? Black women missing by the thousands each year, getting found with their organs missing. What's going on out here in the world, sis? How are we going to combat this? Let's figure out how we combat this. Hey, you see that photo right there? Which one is Christ? Uh, the top one. You said the top one. This one right here? Well, no. Uh, no, no, you said it right. Don't, don't read the top now. This, I thought you meant like this right here? Okay, so who's this? That's white Jesus. Who's this? Who's this man? His name is Cesar Borges. That was a real man. His family, the Borges family, owned Hollywood. Right? Give me that. Well, you know what I want? Let's, what color is Christ according to the Bible? Uh, he's black. He's a black man. You believe that? I do. You believe that? So let me ask you another question. How do we love God? Ah, see? We was all raised in the church and don't got no answer. Showing you we learn in lies. Right? 1 John 5 and verse 2. I mean 3. Oh, bring it up. Go ahead. We're going to read that. That's what they should have been teaching us. Oh. That's what they should have been teaching us, right? Because if the brothers grew up knowing that we descended from the Messiah and that we had a rich history, the way we conduct ourselves and deal with each other would be completely different. Read. First John 5, verse 3. Come on. For this is the love of God. For this is what? The love of God. You're always hearing people talking about love is love. That's not a definition. You understand what I'm saying? If I ask you to explain the definition of hate, you're not going to tell me it's hate. You're going to actually give me the definition. Read. For this is the love of God. Come on. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? Keep his commandments. How do we love God? Keep his commandments. So why would the Christian church be telling us to walk away from the love of God? Why would they be telling us don't keep God's commandments if that's how you love God? Bring it out. That is a problem, isn't there? Because they're teaching us the slave doctrine so they can continue to fill their pockets. You understand what I'm saying? So now I'm going to bring out a law. Right? We're going to see, do we love God? Because the love of God is with your actions, not with your lips. Right? You know what I want? First, Corinthians. Go ahead and read that, 11. Let's read that. Let's start to learn how to love God. Because that's why we out here. Right? And so we can show the people we have to unite in the last days. And to be saved by our Lord and Savior, we have to learn how to serve God according to the scriptures. Not according to white Jesus. You understand what I'm saying? Read the book of 1 Corinthians. 
chapter 11, verse 3. Come on. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Who is the head of man, brother? Christ. The black messiah, right? Read. And the head of the woman. Who's the head of the woman? Read. Is the man. Is the man. Read. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God, the Father. Read. Every man pray or prophesy. So right now we're not praying, but we're in the scripture of prophecy. Read. Read. Having his head covered. Having his head what? Covered. Read. Dishonor is his head. Think about it. If our head is covered while the scripture of prophecy is coming out, we dishonor our head, which is who? Christ. Jesus, which is Christ. So to honor Christ while we read the scriptures, brother, you should do what? Let's read again. Watch what it says. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Me and you, we the men. Read. And the head of the woman is a man. Come on. And the head of Christ is God. God, Christ, man, woman, child. Read. Every man. You're a man. Read. Pray. You're or, not praying. Read. Or prophesy. But you're listening to prophecy. Read. Having his head covered. Your head is covered while prophecy coming out. Read. Dishonoring his head. You dishonor if our king, Christ. Why do you think in the courthouse, when the judge comes in, all rise and everybody takes off their hat. That's called respect and honor. So who should you be respecting and honoring right now while the scriptures is coming up? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. But that's how you show God you love him. Starting with your actions. Sisters, you guys are the princesses of God. You're the most beautiful women on the face of the earth. All nations want to be like you. All nations want to be like us. But we have to start to learn to walk you as the princesses and the mothers and us as the kings and the fathers, right? Yeah. Read Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Huh? The woman. I got you. Oh, that's, that's coming. Read. The book of Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. Come on. The woman shall not wear. Sisters, you guys are the woman, the princesses of God. The woman shall not wear. Read. That which pertaineth unto a man. Pertain these belong. What do you have on that belongs to a man? Pants. Pants. Get out. Right? What princess you know wear pants? There is none. So now we have to examine our minds and say, do I actually believe I'm royalty? You get what I'm saying? Because actions, they tell you what when we grow up? Speak louder than words. You get what I'm saying? Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither is men supposed to be cross-dressing. So right now, you will be cross-dressing. You're wearing men's clothes. Now today, men are wearing wear women's clothes. Who are the promoters behind this abomination? The white people. They control the entertainment. They control the CEO firms. They control what goes out and what narrative is pushed to the public through media. You understand what I'm saying? You have to start to walk as an example to help combat the lies and the destruction that they've been teaching us to stop this degenerate nation from continuing. We have to wake up that old lion like it stated in Genesis 49. And remember, we are the children of Israel. We are the sons and daughters of God. The whole biggest fight on this earth is not a black and white, but a Jacob and Esau thing. You understand what I'm saying? This is what they stole from us. This is why we couldn't read. Because we couldn't read and learn our true nationality, we would have used the Bible to override them. Read. For all that do so. So all the sisters who walk around in pants, who are the princesses of God, read. Are abomination. Are what? Abomination. God don't like that thing. Uh, so, give me Sirach 15. God don't like that thing, right? And, then, so, and guess what? You didn't know, right? So we're not here. Right, we're not here to knock you down, sis. We're here to build you up. That's right. You understand right. what I'm saying? Remember, it said, this is how you love God. So now we got to start to walk in the ways to show God our love with our actions. Read. The book of Sirach, chapter 15, verse 13. Come Come on. On. The Lord hated all abomination. If that's an abominable thing to God, it says God hates abomination. So God hates that thing because he never taught you to do that. The white man taught our sisters to do that. Where did pants come from? What movement was that? The feminist movement. Bring it out. By the white woman. The only reason why she included the black woman because she needed more numbers. You guys were a casualty of war. You were the sacrifice. 
You never had a problem with your man in the house until they always kept interfering with the way we ruled our household. We never had issues. We was being oppressed, beat, hungry, killed together. We never had an issue with how you doing, bro? Hey, check yourself right here. We're showing our people biblically who we are according to the Bible. And I'm showing the sister that pants derived from the feminist movement, which was a lesbian movement full of lesbian white women. After World War I, they wanted to beat a man and take the man jobs. Now they're getting surgery to try to turn themselves into a man. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? So now, yes, sir. Tell about how that's called buck breaking. Yeah. That's another curse in the city. Raping black men uh -huh. in front of women and children to destroy the image psychologically in your mind. Uh -huh. Why do you think today, right, when we see black men, the image we get of them comes from the TV. It came from the trends. Many people still walking in a delusional state, living in trends. Uh -huh. They follow what's, that, what's hot. We used to be a part of that. Where do you think the crosses on the neck came from? Where do you think the baggy pants came from? Right? Where do you think the apple bottom jeans came from? If yeah. white people were doing it, we wouldn't have followed it. But they used us as the forefront to do it because they understand we are the biggest consumers of television. And we actually listen and do what it says on TV, not realizing it's just entertainment. You get what I'm saying? Give me Leviticus 13. You know what I want? Yeah. Give me Leviticus 13. This is another way, sis, to love God. Hey, brother. If you're African American, according to the Bible, you come from the tribe of Judah. You understand what I'm saying? And we can prove that in the scriptures. Read. Uh, 13 verse 30. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 13, verse 30. Listen to this, sis. Then the priest shall see the plague. So the priests, right, which were the Levites, who are the so-called Haitians today, during this time, they were the Levitical priests. So it says, they would look in the head of the people, looking through our hairs, right? Read. And behold, if it be in a sight deeper than the skin. So in the skin, right, where the hair grows in a follicle, read. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. What was in that hair? A yellow thin hair. What was in that hair? A yellow thin hair. Read. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. You unclean with that blonde hair in your head, sis. You understand what I'm saying? You showing a form of hatred for yourself because the American Western beauty standard is a white woman, blonde haired, blue eyes. The lighter the skin, the better the skin. But no, it's the darker the skin, the better the skin. That's right. That's really what it is. Because the Messiah is a dark skinned man. You understand what I'm saying? Give me that in Wisdom of Solomon 13. So you got to get that out your head because another, what's going on, brother? You listening? I want you to listen. I'm going to get to you too. Say right there. One second, brother. That blonde hair, yellow, uh, 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 what's that? Another word for blonde hair in French. Uh, uh, yellow. Blonde. blonde. No, blonde is it's a yellow. French word that means yellow. You understand what I'm saying? You got to get, you got to do away with that thing. Watch what God said. Read. Verse, uh, three. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 3. Come on. With those beauty, with whose beauty? With who? With whose beauty? With God's beauty. Read. If they being delighted, uh -huh. took them to be God's. Read. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. God said, I will let you know how better I am when it comes down to beauty standards, because I created you. Read. For the first author of beauty uh -huh. has created them. For the first author of beauty, which is God, has created us. We look like our Lord and Savior. We are children of the Father. We literally are little replicas of our Father. Read. But if they were astonished uh -huh. at their power and virtue, Read. let them understand by them how much mightier he is that made them. Read. For by the greatness and beauty of, of the, the greatness of beauty, Read. by the greatness and beauty of the creatures proportionably the maker of them is seen. God is the maker of what you see in this world today. So when he made us, he made us perfect. But somehow the white man came and infiltrated our minds and he put a low self-esteem amongst us. So we walk around trying to look like them. That's why there's a lot of bleaching going on. Think about it, if a white woman's coming around here with hoop earrings and braids, who's she trying to imitate? We know that off the rip. So guess what? It go both ways. You out here trying to imitate the white woman, sis. You gotta let that go. Because the head upon your head is beautiful. 
that right there is hair coming from the Creator. The Father Himself has hair like us. You understand what I'm saying? So now, Zephaniah 2 and verse 1. This is what we must do amongst each other, right? Read that, Zephaniah 2 and verse 1. The book of Zephaniah 2 verse 1. Read that. Gather yourselves together. You hear that? God said we got to gather ourselves together, but it got to be on one accord. We all have to understand what it is like. What's up, brothers? Where y'all going, man? Come holler at you, bro. Come holler at me. Yeah, come holler at me for like three minutes. Right? Yes, sir. Go back to Wisdom of Solomon. Hey, we showing biblically who we are according to the Bible. You see yourself on this sign? Yeah, right up here. Where you see yourself? Judah. That's the royal name that God gave us. Not being a black man. See, if we want to fix the problem of what we see in our community and with our people, we have to detach ourselves from the lies they gave us. Being a black man is what they named Jew. Everything in the dictionary about black means bad, evil, wicked, blackmail, blackball, right? Look at these nations walking past you who don't acknowledge you like you don't exist. You get what I'm saying? They look at you with disgust and call you black, right? Read. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 6. Read. But yet for this day, they are the less to be blamed. Read. For they, for adventure, err, seeking God and desires to find him. Read. For being conversant in his works, they search him diligently and believe their sight because the things are beautiful that are seen. The things that we see today are beautiful. That's why we search the Lord, because we know we don't believe in Mother Earth. There's no such thing as Mother Earth. Mother Earth is not a thing. This Earth was created by the King Himself, given by the power of the Father. That overtrumps science. Science is made up of a bunch of guesses and theories. You understand what I'm saying? It's not fact. You get what I mean? So now, I said we come from the tribe of Judah. You see that board right there? Did this happen to our ancestors, yes or no? That happened. Did they ever show you that was in the Bible? No. Nobody never taught us that. Deuteronomy 28, 68. They never taught us that the worst atrocities on the face of the earth happened to the blacks, Hispanics, and natives. That the transatlantic slave trade was prophesied about in the book of Deuteronomy. That the children of Israel were going to slavery on slave ships. What other race have gone into slavery on slave ships? None. Besides who? The children of Israel. The Haitians. The Caribbeans. The Jamaicans, right? Scattered from the west coast of Ghana. The so-called Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, uh, uh, colonized by the white man. And taught white man Jesus in the midst of it. You get what I'm saying? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Come on. Oh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. What does Egypt mean? It's all right, I'm going to come back. What does Egypt mean? No, nope. it means bondage or slavery, right? And I'll prove it with the Bible. The Bible has its own definition to what Egypt means. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, verse 6. Read. I am the Lord thy God, come on. which brought thee out of the land of Egypt Read. from the house of bondage. Bondage or slavery, right? Go back. Read. Start from the top. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Israelites will go into bondage or slavery again because they left out of Egypt with Moses as being slaves to the Egyptians. But in the future, the way they would go into slavery will be how? With ships. How? With ships. Is this not, did that not happen to us? We went into slavery on slave ships and was sold all across the world. China, Brazil, Russia, Germany. How do you think we got over there? The Caribbeans, right? Cuba, Haiti, Jamaica. How do you think we got there? Through this transatlantic slave trade, because that was prophecy. What would happen to our ancestors? Why did it happen to us? Okay, it was prophesied, but it's, it goes more into that. Give me verse 15. This is why it happened. When you look at our people today, what type of mentality do we carry? Yes, but we hard-headed as hell. Can't nobody tell us what to do. 
We the most uneducated people, but swerving down, we know everything. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 